would it take to transform the Euclid Imperial Avenue corridor into a San Diego arts district? Barry Pollard wants to find out. We didn't have any public art. We got something at Jacobs at the Food for Less again, but you go down Euclid, nothing. You go down Imperial, nothing. Pollard founded the Urban Collaborative Project. The nonprofit encourages civic engagement through leadership workshops. Graduates have successfully campaigned for more fresh food options for Lincoln and Valencia Park. And I think it's about time that people are ready to get re-engaged in their community. Now Urban Collaborative is empowering artists like muralist Michael Rosenblatt. The whole point of taking something and making it better and making it more beautiful is like the ultimate, uh, the ultimate joy for for any artist. On this day, Rosenblatt is donating a nautical twilight painting for workers to hang at Imperial Avenue Auto Service. And we can create what um, I like to call the uh, Mile of Art and the Mile of Art project, which uh, if it wasn't for Barry Pollard, uh, this wouldn't be possible. Rosenblatt shows this wall so people in the affordable apartments being built across the street can look out and see stars. And of course, when it's in a neighborhood, where you see it every day, it's going to have accumulated effects. Rather than seeing ugliness every day, you're seeing something beautiful in the art. So it's going to actually have an accumulated effect on the people that live there. So it's my pleasure and my honor to do something like that for the people. This is the latest addition to the art springing up. A Lincoln Park community mural helps spark a creative charge. Me being from this area, I'm the one that put landmarks such as Huffman's Barbecue and uh, St. Rita's Church. Joe Nathan Segura is also a painter. Last fall, he, Rosenblatt, and a group of other artists turned a barren wall facing a vacant lot at Imperial Avenue and 50th Street into a waterfront cityscape. I'm looking for the next wall. I want to make the next person happy, you know, because it makes me happy too. Segura didn't have to look far. The owner of Brother Wright Car Wash in detail, also on Imperial Avenue, saw his work and hired him to paint a mural highlighting the business's affinity for classic cars. And right across Imperial, there's more new art, another mural. This one featuring leaders like Muhammad Ali, Maya Angelou, and former San Diego City Councilor and activist, George Stevens. The exterior walls of Gentry Beauty and Barber headquarters also includes the Gentry family. This is um, a family business. You know, first my mom and dad started, now my brothers, so we're second generation, so we should need to kind of show the same due diligence they did on, you know, keeping everything going. Elijah Gentry says the art helps the business stand out and shows the community they've served for 50 plus years, they're here to stay. The one thing that we can do for this community is be here, you know, and support it. Um, we, we, we wouldn't have the chance to be here this long if the community didn't support us. And so basically it's, you know, it's something that we don't mind putting back. The artists behind the Lincoln Park Community Mural also plan to continue giving back. They formed the Southeast San Diego Encanto Arts Initiative. And they're not stopping with murals. There are sculptors, photographers, and poets waiting to share their artistry. The Urban Collaborative Project is in talks now with Civic San Diego to take responsibility for this lot. The space has gone unused since 1996 when the old Valencia Park Library was closed and reopened as the Valencia Park Malcolm X Library on Market Street. Because the battle is going to be with developers and what we want to do, because what do they probably are going to want to do is put another affordable unit house so they can make money. Using mostly private donations, Pollard hopes to turn it into a community gathering space with benches, a small playground, and a stage for people to share performance art. Public art projects like this one not only beautify a community, but advocates like Pollard believe they have healing powers. When you see these areas without art, apartment buildings, traffic, sirens going all the time, police issues, that trauma builds up in people. Civic San Diego agrees. A spokesperson with the city-owned nonprofit says Civic San Diego will lease the land to Urban Collaborative for three years. After that, it's not clear how the space will fit into the city's overall neighborhood plan. This area falls into San Diego's Promise Zone, a federal designation qualifying backers of area improvement projects for federal grants. Pollard says he's optimistic about the community's future and hopes visions for improvements include public art.